welcome to our youtube channel and the second lecture of short course on microscopy today we will be discussing terminologies related to microscopy so let's begin as you know that whenever light interact with the metal or with the substrate there is a possibility to reflect it back to the same medium and the angle of reflection should be equal to angle of the incident you can see in this animation the metallurgical microscope used to examine metals and most of the microscopy we will be discussing in this course will be related to metallic materials the other phenomena is transmission of light through the material as in case of prism whenever light passes through the prism it splits into seven colors but it is transmitted through the prism in seven portions mostly biological microscope use the transmitted light and in this series of lectures biological microscope or biological samples will scarcely discuss as the electron beam interacted with the metals as i have shown in our previous lecture there are possibilities to generate several other electrons and the x rays as you can see in this animation in the scanning electron microscope we can use back scattered electrons so it is necessary at this point give you concept about back scattered electrons as you can see in this animation the electrons coming from the electron beam when hit the nucleus or interact with the nucleus it will be scattered back to the same medium coming from the characteristics x rays are produced when the electrons in the higher energy level transit to lower energy level shell to maintain the balance it will generate some energy in the form of x rays and the secondary electrons are those electrons when the electrons coming from the electron beam hit the electron in the orbital of the atom or material it will knock out one of the electron or electrons that electron which is ejected from the material are called secondary electrons transmission electron microscopy mostly use transmitted beam of electrons elastically and inelastically scattered electron beam on the contrary the scanning electron microscope use back scattered electrons secondary electrons for the imaging purpose and the x ray beam for the characterization or spectroscopic measurement this concludes this lecture here i hope you enjoyed this video now you have some idea about different terminologies used in microscopy please subscribe our channel like the video and share it with your friends